Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at this superb Mini GT LB Super Silhouette Nissan S15 Silvia and it's part of the 2022 Formula Drift Japan livery. It looks absolutely fantastic in this what you call chrome or spectra flame purple. Super reflective, I can even see myself in there. And it looks amazing with all these sponsors and all the tags of everyone related to this vehicle and I'll go into this in great detail. If you're into diecast cars and transformers please do consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Let's take a look at this packaging. So we've also have part of it in Spectra Flame Purple or Chrome Purple and if any of this is of interest, all this stuff here, you can always freeze it and take a look. I think this is probably the most important bit. Like, yeah, it's not a toy, it's not a Hot Wheels, it's not a matchbox, it's a proper, it's more of a model. Having said that, you know, these things are quite sturdy. So the packaging is very similar to all other Mini GTs, just comes in this three quarter blister. And here we have the car out of the package. So there's a lot to take in with this vehicle. One of my favorites of 2023. Really, really nice model. And I'll go over all the different bits. Okay, let's take a look at the front. So what we have here, Liberty Walk, just right there, TM Labo, SSR, look at all these amazingly applied like sponsors. And look at this on the front. We've got this massive you know front lip. Um as is common in Liberty Walk where they design it so the stance is like super low and they have all these extra kit body part kits pieces on which makes it really um, really close to the ground uh, okay so then we have the engine hood here we go so sail and tire sure that is but yeah if you're wanting accuracy and you're not happy with you know hot wheels <laughs> this is this is the one we even got like plastic lens lights here um formula drift that's where this car um was active and on the top sss or maybe um got that logo there and on the side i mean this is just this is like the first time opening this up as well showing you guys i'm actually just taking this in this is awesome um probably my favorite mini gt out of the lot and you even got this like green roll bar cage thing inside as well which i'll zoom in later but for now just gonna take in all of these amazing uh details really I mean, we've got rubber wheels here. I know on Instagram some people have swapped them already, but the green matches the roll cage inside. Uh, and we've got this five spoke design here. Um, but yeah, just running it across the side profile. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this spoiler is not metal, it is plastic, so you've got to be careful. And that's where the model aspect comes in. This is not like a three year old's toy that you just chuck around. Uh, it's, it's definitely for display or diorama only and I think this part here is plastic because you can see this like brighter orangey yellow and this is a bit dull so it's a different material that's carried across but first I mean because it's quite a lot of it's got a lot of design on it it might be hard to notice the details but you look at this like wheel fender area um, and the top part here that comes over so really accurate uh, body kit part designs this is the back 
and that area you can put like a fake license plate on there if you wish. Um, I think this part here is plastic because there is some kind of split here above the tail light. Either way, absolutely amazing. And this guy does roll really well, which I'll show you. Uh, underneath, we have a lot of detailed mechanical bodywork parts here. And I like it used on the license, made in China. And we've got a screw here in case you want to customize, which is perfect for those guys out there. So, really, really top job by Mini GT on this model. Uh, and again, usual standard wing mirrors are rubbery, so they're not gonna break off. So it's like a compromise, because um, some plastic wing mirrors, they snap off very easily, whereas these rubber ones, they won't. But time will tell how long it takes for these guys to crack. That's what rubber does over time. Inside, you can see, if I, I'll just zoom in actually. Let's go, there we go. You can see the steering wheel on the right hand side. Uh, I'm just trying to angle it better to see it inside, but it's quite difficult because it's quite reflective. Um, let's try it from the other side then. Nope, that's quite similar as well. So it's quite hard to see the inside, but you can see the dash here and the steering wheel. There you go. So let's take a zoom out. And now we can put this on the turntable for its 360. Okay, here we go. Absolutely awesome vehicle. You know, they really looked at the original one that raced and probably took loads of photos lots of research time has gone into this vehicle and it really shows and I think this chrome purple is like a new thing uh, that they're trying to do and it has come off spectacular so really 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 nice model um, and it really raises the game of the other diecast brands as well it's like okay we can do this and you know I got this model for what 15 15 16 pounds in the UK and you know, you've got like Hot Wheels, RLC, and all this other stuff where they do Spectra Flame, Super Treasure Hunts, and they're so expensive, and yet, you know, this is just like 16. So with all these details, all these tampos and paint work and stuff is even like roll cage and stuff like that. So the value you get from Mini GT is way higher um, in terms of these kind of vehicles. And uh, yeah, I think it's worth the worth the cost. So there we go. At Mini GT this year, I saw some previews at the 2024. Is it Nuremberg or Nuremberg um, Toy Fair? They've got like I saw you know a few favourites. Uh, one of my favourite cars is the original Lamborghini Countach, and I can't wait. They're going to do that. So really, really looking forward to that. Later on this year, they're going to do like a Ducati motorcycle in 164 scale, which is awesome because most car, most brands will do it like 132 or just make them at different random scales. So looking forward to that. I think they're going to do that Hyundai N74 concept supercar. Look at that superb car. Looking forward to that as well. Lots of cool stuff is coming out, and I think later on, I think I'll do a video about um, diecast in general, how it's changed. Like there's so many brands now and if you want to collect like your favorite car like mine is the Lamborghini Countach you know there's like a Hot Wheels version there's like a Matchbox version uh, you know now there's gonna be a Mini GT version but there's other versions of it as well like uh, Kyosho, CMs you know where does it stop uh, where does the wallet end you know can you collect all these uh, you know if it's like if you're into like Dodge Challenger for example there's so many brands that do that and you know, I think it's good to always just take a step back and just think, like, you know, which model do I really, really want and uh, which one will I keep? 
because the way these brands are coming out with so much detail, I mean, there's like licensed ones, there's unlicensed ones, but they still have really good detail. So it's, it's like, yeah, it's hard to choose these days. It's just this model, uh, 164 models have really exploded in terms of the brands producing them. It's hard to keep up at times. So that'll be interesting to chat about with a few models later on. Okay, anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, see you in the next one. Take care.